Hi, I'm Sophie Yano. This is my studio. Um, I am a cartoonist and the author of The Contradictions, an uh, autofiction graphic novel that comes out September 8th. Um, I worked on this book for quite a few years and I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on it. Um, I think it's for anybody who has tried to be righteous in a complicated world. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit of my process. Okay, so um, the interior of the book looks like this. Um, it's drawn in a pretty high contrast black and white style. Um, I didn't always plan for it to be like that, really. Um, this is a bound uh, version of my thumbnails. Um, and it has some examples of some of the earlier pages I thought would sort of look like the finished page, and you can see that pretty different. Um, but this was in 2016, and a lot can change then uh, between, you know, then and a few years. Um, so this is an example of a page that didn't really change, though. Um, <clears throat> you can see the character there uh, is doing a search uh, for anarchism on the computer. Um, and you can see this is sort of, you know, this is how I write. I draw things in this really kind of loose style. Um, but that page stayed pretty similar. Um, I ended up drawing um, an establishing shot for it. See here? And uh, this is how the actual drawing before inking of uh, one of the panels looked like. Um, this was just an example of a page where I did drawings I liked on different pages and I ended up cobbling them together um, and this was the, the rest of the page. I don't know what I did with the text. I guess I inked it or I penciled it on a different page. Um, so I what I do is I pencil. Um, you know sometimes I'll pencil I'll trace something if there's something specific that I want to get the proportions of. Uh, this one I think I didn't do any of that but <clears throat> um, I use a light box and I will uh, ink um, tracing my pencil lines. So this is what I get when I do that. Um, you can see that it is uh, pretty, pretty spare. Um, but one of the things that I thought was interesting about this page, this is kind of the page where I feel like I really figured it out. This is like 30 pages in, um, but where I figured out like the style, even though I had drawn a bunch of finished pages earlier, but then I ended up going, oh, I really actually like where this is and redoing some of the earlier stuff. Um, but you can see that I was drawing the face like this, and then here, and this is how the pencils look, but here I kind of was like, oh, wait, what if I do it like this? And I ended up liking how that looked better. Um, so then you can see, this is a, just a printout of the inks. Once I, once I, what I do is I scan this and then I do some of the big spot blacks on the computer um, to spare myself. <laughs> um, and this is what the final version of that page looked like. And you can see that I ended up um, using that type of face throughout, and that's what you see in a lot of the rest of the book. Um, yeah, so that's a little idea about my process. Okay, so why did I want to make this book? Um, in my early 20s, I was really struggling to be like, to figure out how to be like a good person. And uh, I was really looking for certainty and I gravitated towards people who seemed like they had everything figured out and I tried to emulate them. And um, some of those folks were in the sort of leftist activist scene and they exposed me to a lot of new ideas um, but I really put them on a pedestal and like looked for their approval and that didn't always work out great. Um, I spent a lot of time feeling bad that I couldn't adhere to certain rules that I had made for myself and um, not actually having much certainty about what I believed. Um, and when I was starting to consider like making a project kind of about this, um, 
I was talking to some activist friends of mine um, about this kind of experience and they could relate to it and um, that's when I thought it might be like a worthwhile project to like complete. Um, yeah, so the book itself is about a young person named Sophie um, who studies abroad in France and falls in with another young woman um, who the Sophie character uh, thinks maybe has everything worked out. Um, so it's an adventure story and uh, I don't want to spoil too much so I'll just leave it at that. Um, there's the book again. Thanks for watching and take care.